let's look at the solutions for arithmetic words for today in an 1080 meter race a beats b by 18 seconds and b beats c by 12 seconds instead had both a and b agreed to give c a head start of 180 meters then c would have beaten b by 8 seconds in that case how many seconds would a have beaten c now see this question is a prime example of how unnecessary information is given to us to distract us from the main information simply forget this part forget this part forget this part everything forget Just the important bits of information are A beats B by 18 seconds and C would have beaten B by 8 seconds. So if in a race, A is beating in the race, when A is at the finish line, B is 18 seconds away. Similarly, when C is finishing the race, B is 8 seconds away. So from the time that A has finished the race to the time that C has finished the race, B has run for 10 seconds. B has run for 10 seconds. So when A would have finished the race, C would be 10 seconds away from the finishing line. And the answer to the question is B. Everything else mentioned in the question is useless information. This is not a calculation question. This is simply an RC question where you have to read and correctly understand what you had to do. Next question. Amar and Anthony start running simultaneously from the same point in the opposite direction along the circumference of a circular track of length 420 meters. If the first meeting takes place at a point which is 180 meters from the starting point in the anti-clockwise direction, what would be the distance of their fourth meeting point from the starting point in the clockwise direction? Okay. Let's say this was the circular track they were running on. The first meeting takes place at 180 meters in the anti-clockwise direction. If the first meeting has taken place when the runner running in anti-clockwise direction and the runner running in anti-clockwise direction uh, have met at this point, if they start from the same point, they meet after 180 meters on anti-clockwise direction. So the second meeting, effectively when they meet here, the second meeting point that you have to identify, this is the starting point. It would be after 180 meters more or basically for every subsequent meeting, for every subsequent meeting in the anti-clockwise direction, 180 meters will be traveled. So can I say 720 meters anti-clockwise distance has to be traveled. Anti-clockwise distance has to be traveled for their fourth meeting point. Now, given the track was only of 420 meters, 420 meters, it would mean one circle is done. And then finally we ended up with 300 meters anti-clockwise. But the question is asking me the distance of the fourth meeting point from the starting point in the clockwise direction. If it is 300 meter anti-clockwise and the length of the entire track is only 420, the answer would have to be 400 meters in clockwise direction. An answer to the question is option D. Next question. A wall is to be constructed in 192 days. One laborer will take 192 days to build the wall. The laborer started the work on first day. He was then joined by three more laborers on day two, day four, day six, and so on. And also the two laborers each day left the work on day three, day five, day seven, and so on. If the wall was completed in even number of days, then find the total days to completely build the wall. All laborers are equally efficient. Okay. Look at this now. Uh, because a wall is to be constructed in 192 days and one laborer will take 192 days to build the wall. Can I say let efficiency of every laborer be one? So on day one, one unit of work is done. Then on day two, three more laborers join. So four units of work is done. On day three, two laborers leave. So two laborers will work now. Out of four, two have gone. So two laborers will work. Again, three laborers join. Two laborers leave, three laborers join, two laborers leave, and this continues. Now the question is giving us a hint. The wall was completed in even number of days, even number of days. So now what you should be seeing is, if you look at this series, 
this is such a wonderful series something known as sandwich series where the every subsequent term may not necessarily be behaving in the same pattern as the previous term but every alternate term can easily be identified given that let's say 4 plus 7 i will put it this way given that every subsequent uh, every alternate term is increasing in steps of 1 this series at the top can i see and we are told that it is completed in even number of days this is even number of days day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 up until day 8 we have done the story line if it is even number of days can i say if there were n terms in the top series there will also be n terms in the bottom series some of the first n natural numbers this series here 1 2 3 4 this is nothing but sum of first n natural numbers that is given by n into n plus 1 by 2 this is fairly simple to understand what you can do to uh, what you can do for the second series the series here 4 5 6 7 you can work with this the expression that we have n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d you can work with this expression which is available for gp but what i would instead want you to do instead what you to do see when you have consecutive natural numbers given no when you have consecutive natural numbers given in my head what i'm thinking of is 4 is nothing but 3 plus 1 5 is nothing but 3 plus 2 6 is nothing but 3 plus 3 basically it is again the sum of first and natural number and 3 for every subsequent term so i can write my entire expression summation of this entire series is n into n plus 1 by 2 plus n into n plus 1 by 2 plus 3 for every term so plus 3n this should be equal to 192 and now this gives me this gives me n square plus 4n is equal to 192 this is so simple to manage this is so simple to manage if nothing else all i wish for you to do is plug in values and check you would still reach your answer would it work for 14 no n square is greater than 192 then would it work for 13 n square would be odd and plus 4n even you will not get an even result so the next value you have to plug in and check is 12 so you get 144 plus 48 yes this is indeed equal to 192 so you have 12 terms in this series you have 12 terms in this series how many days in total answer is option c 24 days okay next question in a 960 meter race ram beat sham by 160 meters so in the time that ram runs 960 sham runs 800 okay and sham beats mohan by 300 meters in the time that sham runs 960 mohan runs 660 mohan runs 660 okay now you can work with ratios can you see in the time that he has run five sixth of his distance he should also run five sixth of his distance so this should be 550 otherwise what you can work with is speed of ram and speed of sham the ratio is 960 is to 800 so 6 is to 5 and speed of sham and speed of mohan 960 is to 660 is how much uh, yeah 16 is to 11 so when you combine these you will get 96 is to 80 is to 55 and now if he is running 960 he will run 550 and the gap between them the question is by how much does ram beat mohan so the difference between them is 410 meters and that will be your answer last question a certain sum of money lent under simple interest becomes four times of itself in six years okay so if amount is equal to 4p interest earned is 3p so what we have is 3p is equal to p into r into t t is given as 6 no 
into six by hundred. This is what we have got. So P and P cancelled. Six and three cancelled to give me two. Two and hundred cancelled to give me fifty. Or R turns out to be fifty. In the initial setup, rate of interest was fifty. After how many years will the same sum of money become nine times of itself? So we want amount is equal to nine p. So interest has to be equal to eight p. If the rate of interest at which it is lent decreased by ten percentage points, now percentage points. Pay attention. Previously, if rate of interest was fifty, ten percentage points lower. Percentage points, not ten percent lower. Ten percentage points lower would mean the new rate of interest is forty. So eight p is equal to p into forty into t by hundred. P and p gone. This and this gone. This becomes five. This and this gone becomes twenty. So t should be equal to twenty. For twenty years, we need to run it. Answer will be option D. That is all for this sheet. Hopefully, you learnt certain ideas. Okay, bye.